Welcome back to the talk. As you know, I'm an animal lover. I have three dogs and three cats, all rescues. So taking care of animals and animal rescue work is very close to my heart. Uh, that's why today's audience is filled with animal rescue workers. Thank you all so much for what you do. Okay, it's okay. Okay, let's keep it calm for the animals. Since it's my birthday, we brought in some very special guests today. Let's meet them. This is Carrie Ann, by the way, this one right here, and she's adoptable, but first, <laughs> let me introduce Jill Bennett, Adoptions and Marketing Director of Heaven on Earth Society for Animals. So, welcome. Thank you. And tell us why local rescues are so important and what Heaven on Earth specializes in. Well, it's helpful to know the difference between a rescue and a shelter when you're okay. considering adopting because uh, rescues often take a much more hands-on approach to adoption counseling. Mm -hmm. So all rescues are no kill, including ours, mm -hmm. and we will always take the kitty back if it isn't a good fit. Oh, that's great to know. Yeah. Did you hear so that? Yes, that's you important. You can adopt from Heaven on Earth. Mm -hmm. We're a 5,500 square foot facility in North Hollywood, California. Mm -hmm. um, our sanctuary is called Perry's Place, mm -hmm. and it's currently home to about 300 cats, uh, most of whom were pulled from area shelters and usually within about 48 hours of being euthanized. So we're celebrating our 20th anniversary oh. this year, and we hope to save about 1,200 cats from the shelters. Okay, wow. So, thank you for what you're doing. What, what is the first thing you should know about adopting a cat? Well, what we always like to tell people is let the cat pick you, okay. right? And be open to the idea mm -hmm. that the perfect cat might not be the gender, the age, or the breed that you originally had in mind. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Jill, so much. Um, this is a wonderful rescue. I actually got one of my cats named Mimi from them. She's a special needs cat, and she's wonderful, and they made sure she was the perfect fit. She, I ma they made sure she was the perfect fit for my home, and she's been wonderful, and thank you so much yes, for all that you do. thank you. All right, now, let's move on to some puppies. Carrie Ann, I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Let's move on to some puppy time. Yes. Okay, here we have puppy time, and this is Nikki Ferraro, the co-president of Much Love Animal Rescue. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh my gosh, there's so many animals. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Much Love Animal Rescue. Thank you for having us, first of all. all the friends that you brought. Thank you for okay. being here. Uh, uh, we're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year, and we, um, we pull from the sh local county and city shelters. Our passion mm -hmm. happens to be the old ones and the medical. Yay! 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 So I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. When you're going to adopt a dog or a puppy, what should you look for? I think you should sit down as a family and think about what everybody is expecting. Uh -huh. If you're really energetic people, you don't get a couch potato dog, you figure out what kind of short hair, long hair, uh -huh. energetic, uh, lots of things that you should really think about before adding a family member. Look at oh, those faces. So okay, so here's a question. What if, I mean, I love animals so much. Um, I have eight brothers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but what if, what if you just love them, but you can't adopt right now, and you want to do something to help out? What can you do? Well, we always rely on foster homes. That dictates how many dogs we can pull from the shelter. Yeah. And um, you, you can always volunteer in different ways at the at the adoptions mm -hmm. or behind the scenes. And lastly, the most important is to donate because every dollar, 100% of the dollars that we receive go to the medical needs and the elderly dogs mm -hmm. that we pull. And oh, that's so wonderful. And those, isn't it true that I think there's the statistic is like two million animals are euthanized on a daily basis in the United States and that ends up being 5,500 animals a day are euthanized. And these organizations that we're featuring today and all of you guys I'm sure work with organizations that help save these lives of these animals. So please help in any way you can, whether it's by offering your time, giving blankets, giving, um, doing message boards. Like if you have a skill, offer it up. It will help so much. And then always helping them donate. Oh, who's a little scared today? Yeah. This is a big moment for them. They're a little nervous today. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here today. Thank much you. love rescue um, and heaven on earth society for animals. Thank you. Time. Well, maybe that'll work. Oh All right, if you guys wanna figure out, if you wanna um, find out how you can adopt these animals that you've seen today, please go to thetop.com or check out the local animal rescues in your area. Adopt, 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 rescue, rescue, rescue.